What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I sold $1,300 this weekend on eBay and Amazon. If you want to see what sold, stay tuned. Anyways, uh, I've got about $1,300 going out today between eBay and Amazon. Uh, I want to talk to you about a couple things uh, tax related and uh, that fun stuff because today is the last day for doing your taxes if you watch this the day that I post it. Uh, so get on it. Why are you waiting till the last day like I did? Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But let's take a look right now at what sold. Uh, let's see, we'll start up here in the corner. Sold some Nike underwear, got these online for $12 on sale. Sold for $36 on eBay. Got this Mizuno glove for $2 at a yard sale and uh, sold for $32. So pretty solid on that. I was very happy uh, with that buy. Cha-ching, something else just sold. Uh, this Mary Kay I got for 50 cents at a yard sale, sold for 17 bucks. This is being drop shipped because they said, please don't include a packing slip, blah, blah, blah. So this uh, telescope lens, I paid a dollar for this at an estate sale on Friday. Sold for 15 bucks, not too crazy. This is a scratched Wii Sports disc, sold for $20. Would have sold for about 30 bucks if it wasn't scratched. I always tell you guys to take a look out for these 35mm uh, cameras. This is a SureShot Telemax, 38 by 70 millimeters. And uh, let's close that lens there. Anyways, uh, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, and this sold for 75 bucks. And this sat forever in my death pile of things that I need to test, and uh, I just didn't do it. And finally, this last Friday, I didn't want to go outsourcing because I had enough stuff to list. So I just started listing things, and guess what? Things started selling. First aid kit, I paid $2 for this at an estate sale. Ah, uh, heck, seven or eight months ago. It had been a long time. And most of it's brand new sealed inside of it. It's just a vintage one. Sold for $39 eventually. I had it listed for 60 bucks and I figured I would get a decent offer. And uh, that was my first real offer, so I took it. Uh, paid 25 bucks for this Gamer's Cup and this one sold for $65. This uh, TI-84CE calculator does not turn on. Uh, they told me it needed a battery at the yard sale that I bought it from. I paid $3 for, no, three, two, three, I don't remember, it was two or $3 for this. Uh, I forget what I put on my breakdown, but it sold for 40 bucks. Even still, as is, parts condition not working. Red Dead Redemption, I paid a quarter for at a yard sale, and uh, this sold for 10 bucks. This Arlo, paid eight bucks at Lowe's, sold for 25. This one I paid $2 at Lowe's, sold for 12. Uh, I sold all of these. They're this Nintendo Switch SNES uh, controller. You can only get these. It's online. You could only get them at the online Nintendo Switch store. Uh, if you have a Nintendo Switch and you have an account with them and you had a limit of four that you could buy. And uh, so when they came in stock, I bought as many as I could and uh, 30 bucks a piece. And I sold them for 100 a piece on Amazon. So very, very happy uh, with that one. And if you watched my video on Friday, you'll remember that I sold one of those for like $65 on eBay. As soon as that one sold, I was like, man, I could have sworn that I saw these were going for higher, but that's what they were going for on eBay. And I went to Amazon because I just got ungated in Nintendo and PlayStation to sell on Amazon, so yay! Uh, anyways, and uh, I found the listing for these and I posted them up for $100 and one sold like immediately. So I just went ahead and deleted my eBay listing and sold the rest out on Amazon and they all sold the same day within hours. So these Durango boots, they're kind of hidden back here, but they've got the uh, little buckle uh, on them right here. Paid uh, three dollars for these at a yard sale, and uh, those sold for sixty bucks. Shout out Crocs! Uh, I could not get the Lisa Frank's Crocs. The Lisa Frank Crocs were friggin' hot, and uh, you made a lot of money if you were able to buy those. So when they went out of stock, the gibbets, these are called gibbets, they're like the little charms that you put on your Crocs, were still in stock online. And so you, I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy ten of them, and uh, so I bought ten of them. 16 bucks a piece, but there were some coupons and some cash back. So I paid about 12 bucks a piece uh, for these gibbets. And uh, I sold it for $40 on Amazon. Uh, the Beyond right here, I've got about 50 cents into, sold for 15 bucks. The 
Uh, Russell Wilson, welcome to the Broncos. Uh, paid $29 for this, uh, and it sold for $50. Uh, I have about a quarter into this record. It is Fisher Z, going deaf for a living. Sold for nine bucks, nothing too crazy. I sold my last Magic Mixie, and uh, I threw in a powder with it, and it sold for 90 bucks. I've got 45 into the lot. I sold this Epson V600, uh, Epson Perfection V600 photo scanner for $170, and I paid $10 for this at an estate sale. Uh, so these Epson flatbed scanners, look for these because they always sell for 150 bucks plus for me. They're super easy to ship, uh, super easy to test, uh, and uh, very happy with that. And the last thing that I sold uh, is this Omaha Lancers US uh, Hockey League. Uh, it's a vintage Swingster jacket. Swingster, size large, Lancers, Omaha. You can see it's just a cool old vintage jacket. And uh, just, I saw it at an estate sale in Sun City, which is a, a retirement community that I go to uh, about once a week to go check out uh, what's for sale because there's, I'm gonna say this in a bad way, there's always people dying in retirement communities. And uh, in Arizona here, we have a lot of uh, elderly communities where people go to uh, Snowbird, where they go back to the colder climates when it's uh, warm, and then they come here when it's hot. And anyways, there are constantly like 15 to 20 estate sales a week over in that area, and I can generally find some pretty good vintage stuff uh, when we do that. So anyways, let me grab my uh, notes here so I can remember my exact numbers. $1,236 is the final uh, for what sold. I changed the uh, setting on my camera. Hopefully this doesn't look too weird because I look kind of weird to me and I can see the fan up there spinning around. Uh, so hopefully that's not distracting. If it's distracting, let me know. I will definitely change back to the old camera style. Uh, I sourced a uh, pretty good weekend at the flea market this weekend and hopefully I'll get that edited soon. Uh, cost of goods, 258 bucks, 258 bucks. And most of it was these uh, Nintendo Switch controllers. Uh, 87 of that $258 was that. And then the Magic Mixies at 45 bucks was the other big chunk of it. Without that, we would have been uh, looking in pretty good shape. Anyways, Fees, $160.68, and I haven't shipped them yet because I just showed them to you, but shipping is this number right here, which will mean after everything uh, all said and done that this is the net profit that I made this weekend. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I've been trying to do like $2,000 weekends, but I keep kind of 12 to 1500 bucks. It's been kind of right in there, which isn't bad. Uh, it's just not exactly what I want. So anyways, I told you I was going to talk to you real quick, uh, something about taxes. So I'm debating, I guess you guys let me know down in the comments if you want to see it. Do you want to know my totals for last year? Um, it's a pretty big number. Uh, it's more than I thought I was going to do, but I got a pretty good number. So if you wanted me to do a video on my, I'm thinking about doing a video for uh, my total year, how much I did in my first full year as a full-time reseller, and uh, like three things I learned or five things I learned, five things, five things that I learned, something like that. Uh, so if you're interested in that video, let me know down in the comments uh, because I've just debated making it. it I don't want it, to, it's one of those things I've, I've heard other people say where it's like you don't want to sound braggy with the number that you did, but also part of my point of my channel is to motivate people like you uh, to grow your business. And so in my first year, I did way more than I thought I was gonna do. Uh, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do, but I did way more than I thought I was gonna do. And uh, I just wanna know if people are interested in it or if that would be a really bomb video because I used to do videos that showed like how much I did for the month and my profit and all that and nobody watched them. Like nobody watched them. So if people are interested, I'll make it. If you're not, I won't. That's basically the point of, of uh, what I'm saying here. Anyways, long of a short story. 
Dana Invests is the name of the channel. I always talk to you guys uh, a little bit about investing. I haven't thrown a lot in there uh, recently. It's just been mostly what's sold in sourcings. Uh, but check the link down in the uh, description for getting yourself five free shares of stock. It might even be a little bit more than that right now if you sign up through Webull through my referral link. Um, I got like $800 in free stock from them last year, by the way. So you guys should really be doing that. If you haven't done it yet and you don't have a retirement account, go set up an IRA through them and uh, set up that link down below and just put 20 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month or something into it uh, for your future. So long of a short story. I owed like $10,000 in taxes, maybe a little bit more than that because I didn't pay all year. I figured I'd just pay the fine and pay it at the end of the year, uh, which is fine by me because that's what I planned on doing. But what we were able to do is my wife is also self-employed is it's already this far into the year. You can still make a contribution for last year's taxes to an IRA. So we both put 6,000 bucks a piece into an IRA. I put in 6,000 and she put in 6,000. Even though it's all the way in April, you're able to put it towards last year's taxes. And by doing that, we saved almost $2,000 in taxes that we would have paid to the government. So yes, we had to put out $12,000 to go, but we keep that $12,000. And if we didn't put out that $12,000, we would have owed $2,000 more to the government. So by putting out that $12,000, we kept $2,000 for ourselves because we we put it into an IRA savings or retirement account. So just something like that is a, it's a pretty big deal, right? $2,000, uh, if you think about that for the next 10 years, that's $20,000 that you would have paid the government in taxes that you could have just gave to yourself towards your retirement. And now I can grow that um, tax-free in a uh, IRA until I retire and then I'll pay taxes when uh, I start taking it out then, which hopefully my income level is at a low enough point where it doesn't really matter at that point. If you're worried about your income being higher later, then you put it into a Roth IRA so you get taxed now and you don't get taxed when you take it out later. That's a subject for a different video, but the point is file your taxes if you haven't filed your taxes. If you're not keeping track of your stuff to be ready for next year because the drop of down to that $600 threshold, uh, it's really easy. I use Mile IQ, GoDaddy Bookkeeping uh, are the main two things that I use to keep track of my expenses and Inventory Lab for Amazon. Uh, but anyways, that stuff makes it significantly easier for it. But like I said, you still have time today today if you have not opened an ira go open an ira fund that ira today you can deposit a check so you can take a picture of a check write yourself a check write it to uh mine was to td ameritrade where i already had an account but i just didn't have it into the ira but you can write yourself a check to that td ameritrade account or weeble or uh scott trader whoever well, scott trade is now td ameritrade anyways whoever you want to do and save yourself some money on your taxes give it to yourself Give yourself money versus giving it to the government. So if you don't want to give politicians, the government, your money, give it to yourself. Today's your last day to do that before you uh, um, lose the ability to put it towards your 401k or IRA. I said that wrong. And if you want for next year, you can start contributing to that IRA tomorrow. And what I would tell you is put in 20 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month. You have a big monster week and you've got $200 extra that you don't need, put it in there uh, and start investing. Put it into VTI or VOO or SPY uh, or Tesla, or you can put it into Google or whatever you are excited about. Put it in eBay. You want to put it in eBay? Put it in Poshmark. Put it in Poshmark. Whatever you want to do. That's the great thing about your own personal retirement account. But the bad thing, if you had that money sitting in the bank account since January till today, you lost money. Do you know that? You lost money to inflation because we've had like 8.5% inflation from January till today. So your money in the bank is worth 8.5% less than it was in January than it is today. If you would have been investing that money and maybe it went up 10%, then now you're now you're in the positive versus leaving in a bank account and earning your 0.25% or 0.1% or whatever crap uh, return that the bank is giving you. I'm off on some weird tangent. We are at 14 and a half minutes. I really appreciate you guys for watching the channel. If you've made it uh, to this point in the video, uh, I really appreciate you. 
Again, check out the links down in the description um, and sign yourself up and get some free shares of stock. I do also want to remind you guys, I am selling on Whatnot Now this Wednesday at 8 uh, Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern. I will be holding a t-shirt auction. I'm going to start everything at three bucks. I've got some band tees, concert tees, vintage tees, a few modern tees. Anyways, hopefully a fun auction uh, and a cheap auction if you guys haven't uh, signed up yet. Down below, same thing, you get $10 free to spend if you use my link to sign up for whatnot in the description down below. Now, have a great day. Happy sales. Thanks for watching. Peace.